Hey y'all, this is Tyler and Riley. Both here outdoors. We've done a couple videos today. We're going to try and get one more done before it gets dark. Uh, this video is going to be, we did a bow saw earlier today and we improved uh, Riley's camp area today and built a fire reflector. Uh, now we're going to go find a piece of wood and make a buck saw out of natural material. Uh, only using our knife. So come on with us and we'll head off into the woods for a little bit. Yeah. Alright, come on by. Deer, 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 deer. <laughs> yes, her four wheeler does go faster. We try to keep it in the slower mode when we're walking through the woods for the simple fact that I don't want to have to chase her. I'm going to cut a V and then come back and take that chip out. I'm going to do the same thing all the way around. Should be enough there. We can break it off a bit. There we go. There we go. Yeah. You just stand it up and go down. So this is the was the, the bottom of the tree. Most of them will break off pretty easy. Push it over and turn it off. There we go. Alright, so there's our limbed piece. And we got a couple more pieces we're gonna have to knock off once we get up there and we'll use our knife for that. But we got all the all the lit all the leaves and the bigger limbs off so we can work on the knots as we turn this into our saw. This is a little heavy. Hey Dad. Um but it should work pretty well. Alright, y'all. So when we were headed back from cutting down that piece, I actually hey, remembered this pop piece of you. big piece of poplar. Hang hey on, Dad. just a second, Rapa. I want to see you. Just a second. I remember this big piece of poplar I cut to use, and I ended up making the split wood fire that we just did with. And I saw I had a pretty decent piece that should work out for this, and it'll be a lot lighter. For one, it's dead. For two, it's a lighter wood to begin with because it's, uh, because it is. Um, so we're going to get this process down and start working on the uh, buck saw. So all I'm going to do right now is take off the knots. My camera has died, my big camera. So I'm using my phone for the rest of this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'll try and get as much as I can put in here for this. Uh, but I'm gonna have to play around with where to put my phone because I did not bring my tripod out for my phone. All right, y'all, so I think I got a spot figured out for my camera to sit while I can get this working. I'm not gonna get a bunch of cool angles or anything like that because I'm working with a stick to prop this up. So uh, all I did was go and knock all the knots off this piece. Uh, we're gonna get it measured out here. I'm gonna talk, knock the top of this off where uh, I broke the top piece off. So we'll just go ahead and cross the ton through that real quick. Let's see if I can get this braced here with this other limb. There we go. A little high. That should work. Take it and tap it. Just knock that piece off. Got a knot there that's not wanting to come off. I'm just getting it taken care of here. That's a pretty clean cut there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure. I'm going to go from about the bend of my elbow to about the middle of my palm. Basically what I'm gonna do is get these three pieces cut and then I'll bring you back. All right, y'all, so I got my three pieces cut. Um, it's gonna be a little short for my cross member, but we're gonna make it work just cause I don't wanna go cut down another tree right now or break another tree down right now. Um, so we're gonna make it work. It's not too far off. If I use the inside, the most inner loops on my blade, I should be okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our two uprights that will sit like this. This will be your handles. We're gonna take these and we're gonna cut a V notch into there. About a, about a third of the way through or so. And we're gonna go, basically, so we gotta leave enough room for our saw blade to go in. 
there's enough room for our saw blade there. We're gonna go another basically one, two inches above where our hand would sit. So it should be about where our brace should be. We're gonna cut a nice V-notch in both sides. That should be about good there. Got one side a little off. Let's turn that down a bit. So now we're gonna take our other piece and cut basically a V into it on either side. I'm gonna try, I can get this brace to my leg here. Cut down on the carbon a bit. Same thing on this side, making sure you have the same angle so that they match up. Looking pretty good there. Back to the other side. Once you get one side, it's pretty easy. Your, your angles will match up because you'll have a flat that you're working with when you set it down on your whatever your anvil is. Clean that up a bit, nice and square. Now, basically what's going to happen is those are going to sit into the V's we created earlier, just like that. Let's, see, let's actually try it this way. There we go, that's a little bit better fit. And then our string will go on the top with our toggle to pull our blade tight. We're going to baton into this just a touch. Very gently. Get in there. Do the same thing on this side. You're gonna make sure you're going opposite of what your grooves are. I know I'm losing light pretty quick here. Um, all I did was lash the saw to my two uprights, the exact same way we did with the bow saw. So now what I'm going to do is take this piece, just tie an overhand knot in it, connecting it and making a loop. It'll fit over the top on these two pieces here. So what I'm going to do real quick is carve some notches in there. Being mindful of the saw blade. Let's make a stop cut. Just run up to that, that stop cut. Do the same thing on both sides. Oh, creating a little notch for my line to sit in. Just a second here. There we go. Get us a windlass here. This is kind of the tricky part, getting it started. And there you have it. Nice little buck saw. All right, y'all, I came out here where there's a little bit more light. Got a piece of sassafras here. What did you do? There you go. There's the end cut. Nice smooth cut. All right, so I'm gonna cut through this piece again. The sassafras piece. I'll show you how to split it without your axe. That's where I go. Did you? I saw two of them. 
Cool. on your leg? A piece of grass? Piece of grass. Hey, scoot over that way. Look! Come right by, scoot. Okay. That one is not wanting to break, y'all. There we go. Dad, I'm surrounded And there by you go. That Dad, one took a while because it's sassafras. You're surrounded by the lightning bugs? There's one over there. That one took a little while to get it split, but as you see, once you get cut through there, a good portion, you flip it over and hit it on something hard a couple of times, and you'll get a nice split piece that you can now work with your knife instead of trying to baton through that. So about halfway through, a little bit more, and bang it up against a tree or a stump or something, and you'll get them to break off like this, where they're a lot more manageable pieces. So, that's it for the uh, buck saw. Nice little buck saw. Um, one. one thing you would definitely want to do when, because I baton to use this to split this gap is you'd want to run. I did it on this side because I had a longer piece of cord I was using, Dad, trying to use pieces I already one. had. Good job with the lightning bug. Uh, is you'd want to um, run a lashing up here to keep it from splitting out. I kind of did it here, as you can tell, but you'd want to run that up both sides. Otherwise, you're going to split out more where you baton through that to get that blade in there. So that's it for this. Um, remember, there's always a storm coming. Keep your powder dry, your axe, your knife sharp, and on your back trail. We'll see y'all next time.